Good morning. So we had a good night's sleep here by the edge of the valley. Mm. And uh, I got up early to do a bit of research, as I always do, on where we're visiting. And we figured out that there's actually easier access uh, to the valley a little bit further down. So we're going to head there now and we'll explain more later. We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the 9 to 5, rented our house to travel full time. Due to the pandemic, our attempt to drive around the world has been put on pause. Finding ourselves in Turkey, we are going to show you the best this country has to offer. Somehow in the night, they must have put bollards on the car park. So I will just move them so we can get out. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's another beautiful sunny day today. That's one thing that is guaranteed in Turkey, is the weather, because every day it's hot. So we've just uh, stopped because the view is amazing. You can see the valley below. Look at that, that is Alara Valley. Mahaba! Mahaba! <laughs> Is it okay parking? Here? Ah, the black car is... Ah, Tichy Corredero. And what time, what time does it open? I think at 9.30. So one of the most important parts at the beginning of the day is making sure you cover yourself in suntan lotion because it's going to get very hot. hot. Isn't it, love? Hot. hot. Choc Sijak. Choc Sijak. The, uh, the valley, we've read um, that there's a lot of shade in there, so we're hoping it's not too hot of a day. Uh, but yeah, quick bit of suntan lotion just to cover ourselves up. Before going for a cup of tea. Before a cup of tea. Another good thing, because we're walking so far today, the sandals are coming off and the hiking boots are coming on. With stripy socks. With very nice stripy socks there, Marianne. Thanks, mother. <laughs> so we have arrived at Bella Sirma, one of the entrances to the valley. We're all geared up, we're ready to go. There's a lovely carabash there barking away behind us and um, the entrance uh, the park should normally open at about eight o'clock but at the moment due to the pandemic everything's opening a little bit later so we're expecting it to open at about 9 30 10 o'clock which means we have about an hour to wait luckily for us there are loads of lovely little restaurants here so we're going to go and have a cup of tea and uh, just chill out until the uh, the valley actually opens. Marianne's got a new friend. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> so yeah, so there's a, a few restaurants dotted around here. Did you bring your mask? Oh, there's a pack in your bag. There's a there's pack, pack in your in bag. bag. Yeah. I just saw it. Merhaba. Merhaba. Yes. Wow. 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 <laughs> ah. Is this your restaurant? Yes, çok güzel. Is your restaurant? Yes. yes. It's very beautiful. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh. Look at this seating area. Wow. I haven't seen a restaurant like that before. That's so beautiful. We say it all the time, but I cannot tell you how amazing we are finding ourselves here in Turkey. We found another little gem. It's just so lovely. The whole breakfast culture is fantastic. But we're here in Alara and just look at these beautiful little seating areas. And what's lovely about each seating area is that 
you have a lovely little view. And on this one, you're right next to the water crashing over. How lovely is that? So we literally haven't even started hiking in the valley and already we are so impressed. We've come to the Hodjanin Yeri restaurant that you can see behind us just for a cup of tea and looking at the seating area all over the river, it is just wonderful. Um, and we're really looking forward to just hanging out here until it opens. You don't mind waiting when somewhere looks so beautiful, right? Nice way to start the day. Cheers. <laughs> this is the advantage of it not opening on time. <laughs> okay, so it is finally open. We are just gonna get the ticket and go into Alara Valley. Super excited, the sun is shining and uh, we're in for a fun day. Mahaba. Good morning. How are you? We're very good, how are you? Yes. Nasilson. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Thank you Bye. very much. Bye. Nice office. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've just entered the valley and there's a really good map here just to help uh, explain the valley. There's basically four entrances. The first one is here at this end, which is in Alara town. And then further up, this is where we spent the night last night. Um, and when you enter here, there's 300 steps that you go down into the valley. We took the easy option and this morning we drove to this area here, uh, which is flat in the canyon. And then the valley ends all the way down in Salim, right at the end here. Uh, the, the whole valley itself is about 14 kilometers long. Um, and today we're going to be hiking probably about five kilometers each way. We're going to, we're going to head down here and then head here and then probably turn around and come back to this point. And all the way along the canyon, there's approximately 26 bends. You're feeling fit, love? And fabulous. <laughs> hiking again. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've got this going on. <laughs> We've literally just started our hike. And you can see all the carvings and buildings in the wall of the canyon here and all the pigeonholes that we talked about earlier in the previous video on Cappadocia all the little holes uh, which were designed for the pigeons uh, to nest in so they could collect their manure just walking through the valley it's so lovely to see the greenery and the river. It really does almost feel like we're back home in England, uh, back in sunny Shropshire. Isn't it just lovely? So easy to be bamboozled with all the negative press and all the scary stuff. So it's very reassuring to come here and find nature and be really grateful for how beautiful it is. And it's just been here for millennium. It's just perfect. As you walk along, there's the most amazing trees. The, the way that it's, uh, it's made, it's trunk. And then it thins out on top. It looks like it's obviously broken off at some point and regrown. 
next to a massive rock and the river. It's just so picturesque. Walking through these rocks that are absolutely solid. They're not going anywhere. And we found this lovely little area where two rocks have obviously fallen down together and you can go under them. How lovely oh, is that? And all of these rocks will have fallen down from way up there and they've just ended up in the valley and things have just grown over them. It's just lovely. Really cool down here in the shade and um, with all the sunlight coming in it's just so peaceful here and you can hear the water and the nature around you it's lovely and then we're just walking along and there's this tree trunk that they've turned into a chair with the uh, the region that we're in for a nice selfie by the river It's a little bit warm walking up the, the steps, but it will be worth it. Yes, we're heading up to St. George's Church. In fact, I think I can see the entrance up behind you. Fantastic. We're nearly there. We'll just stay in the shade for one minute more. We've climbed up from the valley below. What an amazing view when you get a little bit higher up. The rock formations. Fabulous. So we've made it to the top and it's locked up. But looking at this, you can only go to this point and uh, see in. But look at that, you can see the paintings on the sides of the cave. A lot of history here and tombs in the floor and there's more tombs down here, look. down here, and there's some more rooms where they've got tombs. Danger zone. We're entering the danger zone. That probably means we shouldn't go on any further. Now, look at those rocks just balanced right there. This church was built around the year 1285 and apparently Ilara Valley has over a hundred cave churches. So although the temperatures are on the up because it's getting late morning it's nice that there are lots of shaded areas in between the sunny areas where you can rest up and cool down. Hiking in Turkey in the summer, always best to do it as early as you can. Um, normally, like I said, these places would open much earlier so you'd be able to get your hike done before the midday sun. Just stunning. That river is very tempting to jump in crystal clear water. Ooh. It's nice just sitting and uh, seeing what you can see and it's so quiet we haven't seen any tourists here today so far only staff that work here.
So the valley here is approximately a hundred meters deep and it was actually formed thousands of years ago by the Melendis River. I just love the winding paths and the rocks. It's just a really nice walk. It's literally like an oasis in quite dry land and then you come to this green valley with a river. Oh wow, how cool is this bridge? So as we were walking along, we came across this wonderful little cafe and tea spot and uh, we just thought we'd stop, grab ourselves a lemonade and uh, Marianne's actually ordered a couple of naughty little gros lemme. This is nice. I love all these little picnic tables in the water. You can go and sit on and get your feet wet while you sit there. Yeah, it's very nice. Isn't that nice? just nice to cool off. And the water, the water is so clear and there's lots of little fish. I don't know whether you can see them, but there's little fish in there. Teshi Kula. Ah. Oh, gozleme. They look really good. Look at that. Can't beat gozleme, can you? I think we could probably do a tour of Turkey based on all the different gozleme that we've tasted. We have, we've got, we've got a little bit of cheese and spinach in this one. It tastes nice. Is it good? Mmm. So we've climbed up into the Serpent Church. Oh, oh, it's big. It's bigger than I thought. Wow, look at this. The old paintings on the wall. It's nice light. That's where it gets its natural light from. And then that looks like maybe it was for water. And then this must have been the old altar area. All these really old paintings that you can still see remnants of here. Isn't it fascinating? Murat and also some people commented when we were saying about the doors being so low apparently it's to encourage you to bow as you come in and that's why they're low it's not because people were smaller and when I come through a door that height I have to bow and then this I can't make out is this it, is the tombs again is it tombs or would people have sat on those no I would say those are tombs probably Wow. For probably important people. And then. It's fascinating, your imagination. Look is. at the, the paintings on the wall. Yeah. What's amazing is back in the day, this valley had 4,000 dwellings and up to 80,000 people inhabited this valley. You can still see the remnants of buildings and holes, windows, all the way around. Over there you can see where it's all been carved out. Actually looks quite uh, an important building that one. And then tucked behind there's little windows. Fascinating place.
Was that fun? Ooh. Sweaty. Wow, what a walk. It's uh, nearly two o'clock now. So we're gonna head back to Goreme. Yeah. Uh, where we're gonna base ourselves uh, for the next uh, three, four days uh, to finish off that area. We're super excited to see that. So we've got flight time is about one hour and 25 minutes. So sit back, relax and enjoy the flight to Goreme. We've arrived back at the Goreme Camping and Aqua Park where we're basing ourselves to show you the rest of this wonderful area. We've got lots coming up. We've got pottery, we've got valleys, we've got quad biking, we've got food and we've got underground cities. So make sure you check out the rest of our videos. Bye for now. Oh, you're still there. It's the end of the show. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure you click the subscribe and the bell so that you don't miss a video. Thank you for watching.